you're all great Americans for having the time to be here to talk about an important issue. My life has been amazing. I should have been dead at 12. I was dead. Came back to life, did a lot of work for the disability community, worked for our governor, our president, not exactly the most popular president, but I, sorry guys, but I did amazing work that even President Obama's team is quite proud of. And it makes me feel good. What I'm here today is to say that each of us has struggles, each of us has issues, that we have to deal with through our lives. The most important thing is to respect each other, to recognize we are different, and we are differently unique. Um, it's been a very <coughs> hard road, as you can imagine, for someone with muscular dystrophy. Why do I say that? I don't care to share who I am, what I'm about, how are you going to go home and say, hey, I saw this little short guy in a wheelchair, and he didn't have to tell me all of his issues, but now, oh, okay, I get what he's about. I see what he does, but he's not different than I am. That's the way you need to be in society. That's the way you need to bring to your jobs here at an amazing company. And there's so much to do yet to do on disability in this country. Sure, the work that Fred and I have done is amazing. We don't think about it because to us, it's the game. We're here to give ourselves to make the lives of others after us a lot more easier. We cannot wait for Washington, D.C to solve our problems, regardless of political parties. You here at NBC can send a message in your products, in the way you professionally develop, and how you represent the company to the community. So much can be done, image-wise, through TV, film, reality TV, it's endless. The time is now. When I was born a Kennedy baby, and I grew up in the 70s, I wanted to be the first really disabled person in the industry. People said, no. I said, oh, why? You won't make it. They don't like people that are different. We respect you. You're the different than any of your siblings. You will always be successful, but it's not the time. So ironically, my friend Michael Steiger in the back, and uh, his birthday is tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> brought me on board at Diverse City after a break in my 20 some odd year successful working life since graduate school. Now we're representing Jerry Jewell, who you all know, the comedian. We're representing Toby Forrest in the sessions, which you heard about in Hell and Hub. We're representing Kathy Buckley and Mark Pominelli, uh, like water for elephants. Amazing people, different abilities, short and tall, Deaf and not. Who cares? They're people. Yeah. That's the theme of our, what we're doing, is that everybody is equal and should be equal. It should be valued for who they are and their talent. And it's, you know, it's an honor to be here with Fred and with Sal and everybody here because so much can be done. And um, I look forward to an interaction with you all, to explain to you what's really going on and how each of you, not 
all together, but each of you can make a difference for your organization.